All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to the Rush Brawl. I'm calling this the Rush Brawl uh, because we got insight, so we can see everything on the map, so we know what our opponents are doing. And apparently one of them is lagging. And the other modifier here, we have Discharge over here. Discharge makes it so there's no shields on the structures whatsoever. And you also have Aura, which buffs your team with uh, something powerful that you pick. Uh, and so, the Rush Brawl, uh, you know, just very obviously just sort of states itself. And you might get a Swan in your game, but without, yeah, there's a Swan. Uh, without the shields on your cannon, you, you can just blow it up, like, so easily. Oh my god, I can go Fire with Rainer as well. Let's rock. Um, so I'm just going to go Rainer Bio for a little bit, and then maybe transition out of it. Because Rainer Bio is so aggressively powerful, we just got to chip through these defenses here. And that'll be it. Maybe I can go Air Rainer too. I kind of want to do a bit of both, so I might do two games. I'll do like uh, this game be Rainer Bio, and then I'll do Rainer Air, uh, like purely. Or maybe I can just transition in and out. I don't know, because Rainer Bio sort of drops off pretty hard against one. Um, I'm probably against Cigar by the looks of it, so probably don't want to do a Rainer Bio against Cigar mm, at the end of the day. Okay, there is one Cigar in blue. Okay, so whoever I'm against here. Some sort of Protoss commander. Um, don't know who that is. Let's see, are they going to put out something? Because this line of Marauders is going to make them eat it. They put out one Centurion. Oh my god. One Centurion is not, <laughs> is not the answer right now. Uh, they're going to bite the dust real hard here. Uh, is Alex just going to kill him? Okay, never mind. Okay. Charged in there. There we go. Oh, did that one Centurion just die? Oh, he died. Alarak just ran him down. Um, alright, let's just see this Rainer Bow in action. I love Rainer Bow. Um, it is probably the most beautiful, most aggressive thing out there. The laser beam sort of dulls its power a little bit. A little bit. Uh, and my opponents here have a lot of base defensive structures, so that really does help them uh, stay alive a bit, uh, a bit more um, than they normally would. We got some fire bats at the front, and we got Manx coming in with Manx Bio here with all the boys here. Uh, the boys don't do a lot of damage individually, but uh, with a lot of them, you can also get a lot of them too. They are quite effective here. And there we go. By the way, guys, if you guys have not checked out the tier list yet, be sure to go check it out. I play a Phoenix game there, uh, and we also sort of give little rankings of a uh, Halal Rack of Lamb. Nice. Uh, we also give a ranking of like a who's who of like where you know where everyone stands here uh, for this week's brawl. I'm gonna go and affect and supply drop here aggressively. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, Fireback just getting burned down here. Uh, so against Vorzoon, I think I really have to switch into air soon. So I'm just going to go tier 2. And because um, with with the air, I can go Banshees. And the Banshees, Baby Banshees, will outrange all these defensive structures. And since the cannon has no shields, I can just snipe it off. Um, and Swan looks like he is building a Science Vessel now, finally. Uh, after some time here. And I probably want to gas at this point. I, I can probably look comfortably gas. We've been taking mid quite aggressively here. Um, and there we go. Because any damage you do to the Nexus is gonna stick quite hard. Um, so this week you just wanna you just wanna you just wanna push forward here. Um, let's see, so I'm actually gonna slap down our bunker over here. And slap down a guy over there, get the juggernaut plating. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put down a bunch of marines in there. There we go, Marines, get in there. Juggernaut plating, research complete, probably don't need that. Um, let's see, I'm going to drop a scan here. Fire bats are all stunned. Um, oh god, Centurion's actually quite effective against me right now, uh, because they can stun my fire bats. And I don't have nearly enough fire bats, so I'm just going to stop committing to fire bats at this point. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to call it in, okay, that's, that's, that's it, we're raining it in. Rainer Bow, raining it in. We're going to, we're going to rain them in with these. Uh, let's go, let's see, Banshees, I'm gonna put them back here, I think. Okay, put them back here. Is this, like, optimal placement? No, it's not optimal placement. I think this is optimal placement. I'll just put them down here, put them down over here, and there we go. I can't wait for Borzun to start going air, because I will absolutely dominate Borzun in the air. Like, as Rainer, you want to beat Borzun in the air, uh, and if you can beat Borzun in the air, she is screwed. That's it. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, got the cloaking field over here. I'm gonna get the shockwave missile barrage here. That's a lot of centurions. Uh, but unfortunately for you, I got some banshees. Uh, centurions cannot shoot up. There we go. 
Uh, okay. Oh my god. I mean, the fire bats here are ripping through them too. Very nicely. There we go. Now these baby banshees here are just going to be able to outrange uh, the structures here. There we go. And we should be able to just destroy everything here with these banshees here. Um, provided that they don't see us with their detectors, I think we should end up being fine. I mean, all of these uh, boys here are just going to get uh, fire support, Manx boys. There we go, Banshees just blast them down here. The Banshees outrange all the bit. Look at this. Look at those range. Nine range. Ridiculous. Just going to outrange everything here. Oh, but Zagar here is going to end our killing spree of the structures. But that was very good. We chipped down the defensive buildings here very effectively. It's, what the it's one of the reasons why I prefer Baby Banshees over um, the Big Banshees, the Duskwings. Even though the Duskwings have more health, these guys have more range. And in this part of the game, the range is all the rage. The range is what matters the most. So let's just get some uh, vehicle weapon upgrades here. And there we go. Other right, guys, if you guys are new here to my channel and you guys enjoy Direct Strike content, uh, well, be sure to watch this video until the end because, uh, well, you gotta see what you like, uh, what I make. Um, and if you do find if you do find this to your liking, uh, be sure to, well, subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos as well because I make these videos every single day of the week. I do a lot of weekly brawls here, and it looks like Swan has some rates now. So I'm gonna grab some Vikings here. Uh, yeah, those rates really clean me up here. Uh, and somebody is lagging. Uh, Pickle Dilly, dude. Okay, Pickle Dilly. Okay, so Swan rates are gonna be out in the air, but since I'm forcing my opponent's hand to rates, that is very good because if I just take control of the air, they're screwed. Like they're done. They're toast. <laughs> like no one can beat no one on their team at least can beat Rainer Air. Um Oh, is that a Nova? No no that's not a Nova, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a Swan turn, he's tier three. Yeah. Like Swan can beat Nova, I mean Rainer Bio quite handily, but like Rainer Air is just gonna be monstrous against these guys. I'm gonna go for rip wave missiles over here. And I'm gonna get some more upgrade. Get some plating. I'm gonna get some scans here because the Centurions like to uh, disappear when they charge with their dark coil here. So my wave is mostly intact over here. Uh, and that is gonna be good news for us. Bad news for them. Look at the Phobos weapon systems here. There we go. Uh, my Banshees here are getting uh, melted here. Oh my god, let's see. There we go. I got some... I got some anti-air coming in here. There we go. These There's a bunch of Rocket Boys here. Oh my god. Manx just went full Rocket Boys. He was like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, unfortunately, the cigar is just going to melt them. Uh, okay, so, let's see. I'm going to have to get some more Vikings here. Or I should probably just get them in, like, a bit of more of a clump. Because I want them to clump up a bit harder uh, than they are currently right now. Um, and let's see. I think maybe only Zagar can keep can uh, keep me out of the skies. Because, um, I don't know, Zagar uh, scourges. But that's, like, a huge investment. Uh, there we go. There we go. Alright, Vikings, please stay in the air. Please stay in the air, for the love of God. Kill the oracles. Okay. Oh my god, what is that insane range here? Uh, although I'm out of scans, so I'm kind of screwed here. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm out of scans. What a noob. I scanned too much. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I scanned too much. Uh, Pickle Dilly again. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait here. Okay, there we go. Pickle Dilly is no longer lagging. I'm Pickle Rick. I'm Pickle Rick. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna make sure my Vikings don't land right now. Uh, cause that's a huge problem. As you can see here, uh, the damage of the cannon is gonna stick. It's at half health right now. And we just gotta keep pushing in here. I think the four Banshees I have are great. Right now I just gotta get in as many Vikings as I can get, I think, onto the field. It is 850 though, and our opponents have 2 gas, 2 gas, and 3 gas. And we have 2 gas, 3 gas, 3 gas. So I think I'm gonna go and gas it up a bit. There's a Void Ray here. Void Rays are ridiculously weak against my Vikings, so that is totally fine. I'm just gonna. Oh my god, oh my god, let's see. Uh, that's most of Vorzoon's air. My ground forces are still chilling, we're still cooling it here. There we go, Vikings. Snipe them away. Snipe them away. Blow them away. Uh, Vikings will have some difficulty dealing with the raids initially, but any more raids, and my Vikings will start paying off big time. Let's see, my Banshees are still here. That's going to be uh, pretty bad for them. 
Uh, okay, so that's probably gonna be their cannon. I'm calling it right now. Um, right here. Or not, actually. Huh. I guess Banshees are focused on killing Cigar's wave right now. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I mean, this one's still kicking it here. Um, uh, helping out Alarax wave here tremendously. Just, you know, constant, constant chip damage here is very useful. There we go, that's the cannon. Got some vehicle weapon upgrades here. Banshee's actually about to expire. Uh, there we go. There we go. We can see all the oracles here and just blow them out of the water. There we go. No more oracles. No more void rays. Like, look at this. Warzone Air is hilariously weak against mine. Um, there we go. Okay, rates are not going to cut it here. Really aren't going to cut it. Rates are down. They are out. Out. Let's see, I'm gonna kill off that science vessel here and then just get them to get these bad boys to land. Uh, okay, so that means now I just need some more banshees uh, to establish s superior um, ground command here. Or not ground command, air, air control or air to ground control. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. Okay, maybe I should split these guys up here. We'll see how this wave uh, wraps first. If these guys end up getting picked off too early, then uh, we'll have to switch up our Viking distribution. But currently, I think we're, we're in a good spot here. So let's go to tier 3. We'll probably go for Hyperion very, very soon. Uh, there we go. This is like the most balanced Rainer build, basically. You got, the, you got the boots on the ground. You got the air support. Oh my god. The only thing that's missing are some tanks uh, to back this stuff up here. Um, let's see. Okay. So I can see here, Swan has stopped going air at this point. Um, he's just started getting some Goliaths here to try and beat off my Banshees here. Which is a pretty smart decision because, um, you know, he really cannot contest me in the air with, with uh, rates. I have a significant amount of Vikings now. And now the significant amount of Vikings here are just gonna, they're just gonna chill here. And uh, help out this wave here. Get in the air, get in the air, get in the air, you don't want to die here and then... Try and land, I don't know, maybe maybe I should have just kept them on the ground. I don't know guys. I don't know guys. There was no way they were surviving that. There was no way they were surviving that. Um just, just a cigar wave. Alright, so let's see. Uh how are my banshees doing here? Uh I might get a big banshees in the front to tank, I guess, because they're pretty good at that. Because they got a lot of HP. Uh Alarak ain't got no detection here. Oh no, he does. His havocs are like just all all the way in the back. And Alarak is actually starting to shove in here. Uh, which is excellent, excellent, because uh, we are just going to clap them. Let's go, it's clap time. I got fire, so basically I have five weapon upgrades essentially, and the Vikings hit twice. Vikings, can you guys um, land please? Land, 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 oh god. Well, the Banshees are just going to kill the base. There you have it, there you have it, that's how it's done boys. Oh my god. Wait, this aberration is still attacking, that's illegal. That's illegal, hold up. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's just have a look at our overview here. 171 units killed, 54k damage dealt. Oh my god, that's the most in the game. This is why you just want to charge it down this week. Because um, of uh, Discharge, like, you, you just run it down. I think Zagar could have had a better time if she went, like, Lings. Just lots and lots of Lings. I didn't, like, kill too much mineral value, but that's okay. Uh, 7.6k, that's actually quite a small amount of resources here. So you know what? What if I just started with Rainer Air? Let's go for another game. <laughs> Alright, and we are back. Let's go. Uh, so if I'm going to go for Rainer Air right away, hmm, I feel like it would be a bit, bit of a bad decision not to send anything out. Ah, screw it, let's go. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's what our opponents are. We got an Artanis over here. Uh, looks like it might be, okay, so Artanis is probably, let's see what color is this. Um, okay, so Artanis, Artanis in the middle here, and there's some Protoss Commander right there at the front and there's some unknown guy right there so this guy only put down two cannons which tells me it's either Borzoon or Karax or never mind that's an Artanis that is an Artanis okay okay uh Artanis can't really contest me if I go air I think unless oh no 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 Artanis has um what is it he has he has Archons he can just feed back all of my uh Banshees no, that's such a bad idea. Okay. Um, hmm. Well then. Okay, let's put this down. Let's see what sort of aura we get at least. Uh, water. Force. Blood. Um, let's do something crazy here. Let's go. 
It's boom time. Uh, so I think this is probably my only out against um, Artanis, I think. I think it's probably my only out here. Just just rush tanks and just go for it. And because the tanks have vision basically forever, they are never, ever going to move out of position here. And should I get force on my tanks? Like force tanks? That would be nuts. Um... I don't know if I can't use cooldown, right? Besides battle cruisers? Yeah, besides battle cruisers, that's about it. We got the swan on our team. Um Oh my god, but these honor guard are just gonna rip my tanks to shreds here. Uh that's okay though. Um Let's go for force. I'm gonna go force on my tanks. Uh screw it. And we're just gonna stack them all up in the corner here. Uh and yeah, like cause, cause if I go banshees against Artanis, like bam, a few archons and I'm toast. Um Cause I remember that matchup. I was playing Artanis and I was like, wait, wait a minute. Banshees of energy. I have Archons. They have feedback. Ding! And then you and then you just win. Um, so yeah. Um Let's just go with some four tanks here. These guys are not gonna perform anything at all. At the at least at the beginning. Um, uh, I think. And we're gonna see uh we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna see how this works. Um okay, so this guy has some dragoons here. Dragoons are a nice choice, but immortals probably have to cut it. Um yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is actually a little bit of a harder matchup here. I think a little bit of a harder matchup here. Oh my god. Ooh, I should probably build something to protect my tanks. Um, like marines or something like that. Uh, although marines die pretty badly, so probably I should get fire bats here. Um, so let's just do that. Let's just do that. So I'm gonna put down another tank, and let's put down some fire bats over here. Fire bats over here. Fire bats over here. Need a light. All right, there we go. Come on. Oh my God, not enough minerals, dude. You hate to hear it. Uh, the fire bats are just gonna hug the tanks really closely, I guess. At the front. There we go. Then I probably want a supply drop, honestly. Yeah, I probably want a supply drop here. Um, we got some centurions over here. Yeah, let's supply drop this in here, and let's get some more. Fire bats in there, and then I'm gonna get Juggernaut plating over here. There we go. Juggernaut plating. Hopefully, it's gonna be able to research, be able to be researched in time. My uh, fire bats are running forward here. It's some Dark Templar here, actually. Uh, Rainer is gonna be pretty hard pressed to deal with them properly. Uh, there we go. Juggernaut plating is up and running. Fire bats, for what it's worth, tanked for a little bit. Um, I probably need weapon damage upgrades. My tanks only do 50 damage. So they do as much damage as Immortals do to Dragoons, but they don't nearly have as much health as the um, Immortals do. So that's going to be a little problematic here. Artanis actually has a wave that's shielded. This one Dark Templar here, just going ham here. No detection. This guy's still Tier 1. And we can see how powerful Tier 1 Artanis is, actually. It's actually so good. Look at that. I wonder why Reyna can't put um, Fire Bats inside his bunker. Is that, like, too good? Because Mengs can definitely put Flame Boys in his bunker. Uh, let's go here. Range 3 fire bats actually might be ridiculously hilarious. I don't even know if force is worth it, guys. Uh, I just got it for the memes here. Um, let's see. We can get, like, advanced optics over here. I'm probably gonna want weapon upgrades, though. Uh, weapon upgrades will really help me out here. There we go, weapon upgrades over there. And Artanis still has nothing but Dragoons here. Uh, probably a good idea. Let's see, 55 damage. That was 5, five extra damage here. That's gonna be pretty strong. Uh, what does Artanis have? Artanis has 8. Oh no, 8 range is fine. I mean, 8 range is probably the best thing to contest tanks here, but my tanks have so much range when they siege up. Okay, at least we, we blew through that wave now, so that's good. We can start, like, chunking this wave. By chunking, I mean, like, doing, like, killing off some of the zealots here. Uh, that's still better than nothing. Alright, my swan ally has... Is that my swan ally? No, that's my Vorzun ally. Oh my god, this guy just went 3 gas. What a madman. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for my second gas here. Uh, and... I'm gonna get some more siege tanks, and Immortals are probably just gonna take my fire bats uh, straight to hell. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I feel like Rainer Bow might have been uh, better. I guess. Uh, oh, Shark Bite is right here. Uh, sure, let's do that. Uh, let's go. Let's drop a little reply. For oh god, it's in caps. For sure. Oh god, I can't type. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, so it looks like he's just committing to the... Oh my god, that's a lot of Dragoons here. Holy... So I think, you know what, I feel like if I went Marauders, I probably could have been able to, been able to stop this guy. Yeah, that's, I can probably get some Marauders here. Okay, so let's just, let's just switch things up real quick. 
Um, I didn't want to go Rain or Bile this round, I think, because... I don't know, Archons might be a little too dangerous, but that being said, never underestimate the power of uh, lots of Marauders. Um, so I'm gonna see if a bunch of Marauders here can save us uh, from these Dragoons. Because uh, the Dragoons will do that to our base. Yeah, there we go. The Dragoons outrange our, net, our cannon here quite effectively. And I feel like I might have made the wrong choice because I think I think Marauders are actually pretty good against Dragoons. I might have, I, I might have, I might have messed this one up, guys. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Um, let me get some infantry armor over here. I Man, I have a lot of tanks anyway. So uh, when my when my bio boys go in there, they're gonna be going in hard, hard, hard and fast. Okay, they have one observer here, but that's okay. Yeah, like these Marauders here are just ripping through them. Quite nicely, and we got some infantry weapon upgrades here. The fact that we have some stalkers here to help us out here also helps out quite a lot. Uh, and that's the next wave here. Oh my god, I don't have nearly enough fire bats here. Holy, um, oh my god, yeah, the tanks are getting burned down here. Uh, although we are making quite good progress here, so okay, let's go, let's keep going. Let's have a blast. Uh, I think I should dedicate this entire area over here to tanks, and this entire area over here to just overwhelming numbers of marauders, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. <laughs> we'll see where that takes us. I think I know where that's going to take us. It's going to take us straight to their nexus. Um, so let's just check it out here. There's an enemy rain in the last position. Uh, oh my gosh, shields coming out here. There's a bunch of phoenixes coming out here. Alright then, phoenix is out on the field now, which means Artanis wants to challenge me to an air battle. Uh, which means I will need, I will definitely need, um, uh, some money saved up for Vikings here. Let's see, so, we're just gonna rip our way through here. The Phoenixes are gonna mess me up quite hard, though, like my tank line. But my Marauder line here, even though I only have a few of them, I've already ripped through most of the Dragoons here. And oh my god, oh my god, and there we go. These tanks are gonna constantly do some damage here. And so now it's Viking time. I think it's Viking time. So, let's see. I'm going to put the Vikings over here, over here. These Vikings are going to have so much range, because I have force. So, everyone has, like, plus one range by default. I don't, even have, I don't even have weapon optics researched yet. I think three Vikings should be able to handle those Phoenixes. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. That's a lot of Rainer Bow here, and they, I think they all got shielded as well. Let's get the Rip Wave missiles here. Um, those are our Corsairs. Um... Uh, at least I can drop a destruction web from time to time, I think. I think. Here we go, my units here coming here, gonna mop up the rest of this Rainer Bio over here. Phobos weapon systems over here. Don't really need to scan, right? There's nothing to scan here. Um, oh my god, that's so many Phoenixes. He just lifted up my entire wave here. That's an Artana strategy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay! Damn, I didn't know that was available. That's interesting. Okay. Well, now now I've seen it. Now I've seen it. Dragoons into just mass phoenixes. Because phoenixes are so cheap, right? Um, and he waited for me to commit to quite a large amount of anti-ground here first. Which is uh, which is pretty smart. Pretty smart here. Um, so that's going to put us on the back foot here. But if I go mass vikings, I think I will literally just dominate him in the air. And I think that's about it. That's all he can do, I think. Um, maybe he'll try and get some archons to contest, but I don't know if that'll be effective enough. Um, so they once again have Temple back. I'm going to try and put the bunker right over here. So we at least have some sort of protection for our base here. I'm going to get some vehicle uh, weapon armor. Uh, like, uh, not weapon, vehicle armor here so that we have some protection. Uh, my tanks here are just going to crush all these things here. But my Marauder line is basically dead. And he has so many Phoenixes. Oh my god. That is a ridiculously large amount of Phoenixes here. Uh, at least the Thors have some some sort of splash damage that they can do. Um, uh oh, oh, it's the guy who was uh, it's this Artanis here who's crushing us. Um, who's lagging? Nice. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We'll just have to wait. It looks like this is a hard DC. Um, that really sucks. <laughs> Starts winning because enemy DCs. Um, don't worry about it, guys. Uh. Actually, I don't even know. Can we start beating this wave? Let's see. It's like a rain or bow wave that's over there. I think I can beat it because I have tanks. Rain or bow doesn't do good into um, splash damage on the ground in general. And me having the tank game, like my tank game being ahead of his, really going to help me out. So I think we can just crush it from here. Let's see. 
Uh, are we dropping? Here we go. Meow, meow, meow. We have an actual cat on our team. There we go. I'm gonna go here. And this guy is out of the picture. Uh, let's see. I mean, my tanks here are just still slicing through his dragoons here. Uh, he's This guy's starting to get some phoenixes too, though, so I gotta respect that. But he doesn't have nearly as many phoenixes as the first guy, and... Yeah, the first guy was dominating with those phoenixes. Um, so there we go. Mm -hmm. and there we go. Put down some more Vikings over here. Uh, and yeah, I think we can probably just... Yeah, this guy's still on Rainer Bio here. He's probably screwed at this point. Um, unless he's going for Hyperion. It seems like he hasn't put anything new out on the field for a while. So it might be the case that he's trying to go for Hyperion. Um, which I should probably be able to take care of. Oh my god, my tank's at 15 range. That's nuts. Normally they only have 13, I think. 15 range is like Manx tank range. That's the level of tanks we're going at right now. Is there an observer here? Oh, there's an observer right over there. I don't know why I want to take up the observer. It's just, I guess it's just sort of useful. Um, oh my god, immortality protocol here. Coming out. Oh my god, he has immortality protocol and it's on his observers? Really? That is such a waste, I think. We got some gas over here. There we go. I got some Vikings here. Still got two tanks surviving. I had just had that siege tank I had just now had 19 kills. Damn. This one? Oh, this guy's 3 3 already. What the heck? Okay, that's nuts. Okay, so I can't scam my opponents to know what they're up to. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's a unit that costs 2,000 minerals. Um, it starts with an H and ends with an N. Uh, so I should probably try and contest it with my own Hyperion. So I should probably go to tier 3? Because I don't think I have enough Viking count right now. My Viking count is just far too low right now. Um, let's see. I mean, I know my tank count definitely ain't low. Um, and it's ripping through this Rainer Bile line here, as you can see. Um, Uh-oh, unless my Vikings decide to just lift up. Unless my Vikings decide to lift up twice. I think I baited them uh, to lifting up here. That was that was a bit of a mistake. Okay, so... Well, that just tells me I need a few more tanks here. Uh, by a few more, I mean like two more. Two more here. Let's go Let's put that on our tank here. Okay, so there we go. Let's go to tier three. I'm still one and one right now. Uh, and it's not that great. One, one, one on all my units here. They're, they're doing okay, but I need some more health on them. I mean, enemy Rainer here is, enemy Rainer here is three, three on them, on his guys. So they have a lot more health and they're going to be able to stay alive for a lot longer. Okay, let's see it. Maybe I should just go for more weapon upgrades. Let's go for that. Screw it. We'll just get some more weapon upgrades here. Um, okay, Vikings are going to do kind of poorly here. But at least they'll protect my tank line um, from the Marauders for a little bit. Uh, but he has so many Marauders. I don't know if I can beat this back. Can I beat this back? I think I can beat this back. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Is our ally here able to beat this back one? This one back. Let's see. Because if you have a Hyperion spawning every other way, that'll actually be problematic here. And Swan's not that great into um, Artanis, because most of his units are armored. Uh, so we might actually lose this one. Here we go. Um, here, let me get some down, put down some more Marauders here. Yeah, like, any, like, our, our Nexus has, like, no HP right now, because it's got no shields. And if we don't clean this up right now, it is, it is over. We are toast. But it looks like Vorazun's wave here is tanky enough to just sort of push this wave off the field. There we go. Upgrade. I am going to get some armor upgrades over here. And it looks like we'll be fine. I think the immortals here are going to be a little problematic though. Um, oh my god. Look at that swan tank, rainer tank. So much power. Alright, there we go. We just covered them. We just buried them. Uh, we got some fire bats here. Uh oh. But I think our rainer, our, our tanks here are going to go down here. Oh, he's got two tanks of his own now. Um, let's see. I mean, how much damage are my tanks doing? They're like doing 60 damage, so they're like 3-shotting the Marauders here. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, I think I can just keep going tank count. Like, my tank count's high enough that uh, if, I keep, if I keep pressing forward with tanks, I think I should just win. Um, because I'm at the point where, like, there's so many tanks now that they can actually cover for each other. Um, right now, if, like, if you have two little tanks, like, they just don't do anything. Uh, but with this many tanks, like... They'll be able to bury them. We'll, we'll bury them. We will bury them. You know, just like the Soviet strategy. We will bury them under, like, just the mass. 
a mass of units. Uh, let's see, this guy's got four tanks. He's going he's going for a tank. So I guess he just went for weapon upgrades and uh, nothing else. He went tier three weapon upgrades. Uh, he didn't even gas up though. No, he didn't. Okay, well, I have so many units here now. Do I have enough to contest the Phoenixes? So that's the thing. Uh, Phoenixes are considered light though, so I don't do bonus damage to them. But my tank, like, my tank line arc is pretty big. But the Immortals are just going to crush us here, it seems. Uh, but I still have more tanks because they're still alive. I just have numbers. I, at least at this point, like, it's just... It's just... There's just so many tanks that some will survive and uh, live to fight another day and bombard our opponents here. The Swan tanks here are doing their best. They do more damage than mine, but they seriously cannot uh, keep up here. Um, let's see. There we go. Put down a tank over here. I have like a line of tanks. Ranger tanks are like the cheapest tank in the game. I think 230 minerals is like really cheap, but they don't have anything else going for them besides fast siege, which is actually, which is actually, if you think about it, really, really strong. Um, and there we go. There we go. Let's see. I feel like I should, I could mix in some banshees right now. I don't know, but that might, in, that might encourage archons. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Archons are generally bad news against tanks, I think. Or, or like, bad news for tanks. Uh, oh my god, the marines being shielded by this Artanis wave is actually going to be able to be enough to cut through our line here. Um, yeah, they actually survived. I guess if you give uh, all of your units 100 extra HP, they will do quite well against the tanks. Uh, and that means his tanks are going to start stacking, and that might be bad news for us. Um, there we go, got him in my sights. Boom, boom, put down some more marauders here. I'm still tier. I'm still tier two, so I should probably go to tier three at this point. If I don't get to tier three right now, I'm not gonna get to tier three ever again. I have 1.4k saved up. I'm just gonna use one of that. Okay, so I have 1.2k saved up right now. That means I gotta save 1k before I can get Hyperion. So we can pro we probably should push Hyperion at this point. Um, at this point in the, in the matchup that's so tight, it's whoever gets Hyperion first probably is gonna take uh, take victory here, take the lead. They're gonna get the advantage. Uh, Rain Arm surprise has not gone Vikings at all. Like if, you get, if you get Vikings, you can shut down all these Oracles here, and look at that, there are Archons out on the field now. Uh, which is why I didn't want to get Banshees, because uh, I know preemptively there's going to be Archons out here. These Immortals here are actually sh just ripping through my tanks here because of their Immortality Protocol. Just being able to stay alive for that much longer, it's just so good. Although my tanks have like 6 armor, they're still, they're still quite durable here. Um, they're still staying alive because of that. I'm going to get some more weapon uh, armor upgrades here. They got 7 armor now. Uh, that, which means Marines should barely do any damage to them, um, which is good. This guy has no uh, vehicle plating, though. Okay, that's good. He just went full attack damage. I mean, that's quite useful, I guess. Okay, and we're slowly pushing in with our massive tanks here. So I'm going to get another tank, and I'm going to stop buying units here. I'm going to save for Hyperion. I'm going to pop him down right here. Uh, let's do it. So I need... I have 1.4k save, and I'm going to see if... So 1.4k, that means I need 800 minerals in the bank. I got the Hyperion. The cannon here, if we get it, should help us out with that uh, tremendously here. I have tanks from last wave helping out. Tanks from this wave helping out. Oh my god. Look at this. Rainer Bile just gets melted. This is why Rainer Bile doesn't scale into late game. Uh, exactly this, what you're seeing right now. Um, okay, so he only has a few tanks trying to hold us. Hold back my enormous tank line here. Um, oh my god. But our Tans is going to clean me up quite nicely. Ah, uh, which is okay. It's okay. That's okay. Um, because I essentially just obliterated that Rainer wave. And I actually, actually chunked this wave, uh, significantly here. And I hope my Swan ally here can do a little bit better. I think Swan should, Swan should put the tanks at the front as well. I think that's a great idea. Um, maybe I should tell them that. I don't know. Nah, it's fine. I'll, I'll just let them play it out. Swan tanks at the front are, I think, even more important than Rainer tanks at the front. Because Rainer tanks siege up quite quickly. But uh, swan tanks take like the full four seconds, you know, like we gotta set up properly and everything. Warzone stalkers do not stand a chance here. What the heck? Where did the oracles go? Why are the oracles up there? And the oracles also getting feedback. That's pretty detrimental um, for us, actually. Uh, how many? Our Vikings have nine range. I've never seen nine range Vikings before. Okay, so um, okay, I can supply drop. I can use all but seven of them. I, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go. Uh, let's go for a tank here as well. There we go. Hyperion is out on the field. There we go. Now with the Hyperion, we should probably be able to get the advantage over here. Get the advantage. 
Oh my god, the AoE here is going to be great with the black hole. Uh, there we go. We're going to burn through this here. And I'm going to get the uh, vehicle ship upgrades here. There we go. He's got some shields coming up, but a little too late. I feel like if he shielded the Rainer Wave, that would have be been better. Uh, Rainer's Wave can always use with more HP. He sold stuff to get it. Nope. Supply drop. Supply drop is so good, dude. Free money. It's literally free money. You just call in a loan. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to call in a nice little loan of a million dollars. Uh, there we go. Now my no loan of a million dollars bought me a Hyperion. And, uh, now that a Hyperion's here, this guy's gonna be running scared. He's got three Vikings, but that's about it. That's about it. He's got three Vikings. Uh, three Vikings, I can tell you, is not enough to tackle a Hyperion. Uh, and I can also tell you that these Marines here won't be enough to tackle the Hyperion. Uh, and my Vikings here are just gonna shred through here. His bio line, though, is quite strong. He does have a lot of bio here. I should probably just go for Banshees at this point. Um, but... You know what? Hyperion just being on the field is a constant presence that cannot be ignored. Uh, and it's going to be super powerful. It's going to buff my allies' teams' uh, units here. I have some tanks in the back. Swan here has some tanks in the back. And Orzun just coming with Oracles, getting feedback into the ground here. Holy. Oracles with no energy basically can't do anything. Um, so Rainer Bow, enemy Rainer Bow here is quite aggressive here. I'm going to get some medics over here. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to make sure I get the stabilizer med pack. So medics can heal up anything. Uh, they can heal my Hyperion, they can heal my tanks, they can heal, you know, my normal bio units that you'd expect them to be able to heal. Uh, so let's make sure I get that. Uh, oh my god, this, this guy's just getting torn apart here. Holy. Marauders with more range here. I should probably get some uh, armor upgrades for my infantry units here. I don't have that. I don't have any upgrades on them yet, even though I have quite a significant number of them. Archons here are very annoying for tanks to deal with. Like they're actually one of the hardest things for my tanks to deal with, because uh, they don't have the armored status and they have a lot of HP uh, in comparison. It takes, I think it takes like ten shots for my tanks to kill them. So archons are honestly like Artanis' best move right now um, against me, someone who has so many tanks here. Uh, okay, so I think at this point, mm, uh, why stop? More tanks. <laughs> why stop? More tanks. Uh, I'm going to put down some fire bats over here. Maybe like that. So they sort of stream in constantly. Uh, there we go. Hyperion is still alive here. Should probably get some more medics, honestly. I feel like if I had another medic here just to heal up this Hyperion, that would be great. Although now I have two Hyperions and they're double stacking. Uh, let's go for infantry armor. Infantry weapons. Uh, I should probably go for fourth gas at this point. I don't know. Uh, this is a long, long game. Holy. Uh, there we go. Weapon upgrades over here for my infantry. There we go. My Vikings outranged his, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I also have more of them. So he's going to be a little screwed here. And this is probably going to be the cannon now. I swear. Actually, no. It's Artanis. The Artanis wave is uh, quite good against mine. Um... Oh my god, yeah, like it just, he just nullifies the tank's advantage here that I have. Uh, although Swan here is going to be quite nice. I think my bio is actually the one that will perform the best against him. But yeah, our is actually a pretty pretty decent rain counter. Um, there we go, let's get some more Vikings over here so I can make sure I have a higher Viking count. Okay, he only has, he only has three Vikings, so enemy rain is just kind of screwed in uh, this aspect. All I can do is just hope to buy more bio and hopefully that will work. Like, I feel like there's a space here that you can put, like, a fire bat. You see over here? Like, right here? I don't know. Um, I feel like there's no point gassing up at this point. Let's just, let's just push it. Let's just push it forward. Oh! His hero unit's right here. He just supply dropped. I saw it. I saw supply drop come down. Um, so you can still see that on the, on the mini-map here. Um, let's go for that. And let's just... This guy's a Tempest here. Tempest, I can tell you, is absolutely the wrong thing to buy against Raynor. Do not buy big capital ships against Rainer because he will slap you uh, with Vikings. Um, oh my god. My tanks are not being protected by my Viking line here. That's going to be very, very bad because uh, most of them are just going to go down here. Uh, but that's okay. Hyperion is still alive. Our opponents have not found an answer for Hyperion yet. And that's the most important part. Um, Alright. I'm going to... Hmm. I kind of want to supply drop 4th gas. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, it's 25 minutes in. I should have gotten 4th gas, like, ages ago, if anything. Uh, let's put that down over there. And, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go supply drop 4th gas, I think. Okay, let's go strike weaponry first. I'm gonna supply drop that. And we go get the strike weaponry upgrade, so we got that. Okay, so he's got his own Hyperion. 
Bad news for you, buddy. You do not have the Vikings to support your Hyperion, though. So, that'll be pretty bad for him, I think. Um, let's see. Oh my god, let's see. I'm just tearing through the Hyperion right now. Look at that. His Hyperion is just getting torn to shreds while mine is just chilling. I think it's getting healed up by the medics here. Um, uh, there we go. I have enough Vikings to dominate his Hyperion, so that's what all that matters here. Um, but, uh, do I have enough tanks? I don't think I have nearly have enough tanks. Like, Archon feedback is instant, so there's no point in me trying to get any Banshees at all. Like, that would just literally be a waste of my money. Um, but I'm curious if this will be a waste of my money here. Just screw it. Just give me the gas. Just give me the gas. Just give me the gas. Give it to me. There we go. We got the gas here. Uh, and I should probably get some more tanks. Yes, the answer is always more tanks. More tanks, probably more Marauders. That guy's a commander. He got 22 kills. Damn. Uh, okay, Void Ray is going to burn to that Pyrrhon as well. Oh my god, all of those Oracles just getting shredded by the feedback here. Man, this is a good game. Okay. Um, although we probably might have lost it earlier uh, if the uh, other Artanis guy didn't DC. Because um, he was giving, giving me a really hard time with those Phoenixes. Uh, it really caught me off guard. Um, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to wipe these Tempests from the sky here. There we go. Wipe the Hyperion. He's got a Battle Cruiser as well. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct call here. I mean, I guess the Battle Cruisers are tanking for the Vikings here. Uh, but I have so many Vikings that his one Battle Cruiser is not going to make a difference. And we're just going to shred through this here. My Vikings made it intact, which means I can dominate the air of the next wave and the wave after that in the wave after that. So you know what? I'm just going to continue to dominate the air here. So I'm going to try and put down some more Vikings, I think. I think I have enough tanks now at this point that um, it does enough damage to your opponents. And what matters is that the Hyperion survives. So as long as Hyperion survives, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. So I can't let him ever take control of the air. Like He's got this one battle cruiser here, but the battle cruiser is just not going to stand any chance against uh, my beefed up Vikings here. I wish I got fire this round, honestly. I got 13 range. 13 range. 12 range was already good, but 13 range. Jesus. Alright, there we go. Battlecruiser going down almost instantly. I think I outrange his Vikings by like one. No, I outrange his, I outrange his Vikings by three. Holy, no wonder he's losing. I just got that Viking range dominance here. Um, let's see. But it looks like I'm going to need more Vikings. Because uh, it looks like I did not clean that up as fast as I wanted to. Um, let's see. Put down a Viking over here. Viking over here. Viking over here. Viking over here. Probably. I think it's like that, right? I have it like right here. I have it like this. And like that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, at this point I can just supply drop freely, I guess. Because, you know, it's just free money at this point. Uh, like cash advance. Give me that payday. Payday cash advance. Boom. Right there. Uh, I think that wasn't properly stacked up here. There we go. There we go. Yes, indeed. indeed. Alright, Vikings, let's go. Uh, although this wave is slowly starting to push back on our Boar Zoom wave here. Um, and Boar's, yeah, as soon as Brandon starts having some air presence, Boar Zoom's already going to be in a bit of trouble. I think I want to make sure my Vikings don't land unless I tell them to, so I'm going to use this button over here. Let's see how well that works out for us here. Uh, there we go. We're going to get rid of most of the Tempest here. Now we can land here and actually get in the air, get in the air, get in the air. Um, this guy has three battle cruisers. He's he just went for f what? Okay. I mean the battle cruisers are the only things that are staying alive at this point uh, because they have so much health. But oh man, he actually took down my Hyperion over here. He had enough. He had enough Vikings over here. You know what? I you know what? You know what? You get battle cruisers. I'm gonna call in my battle cruisers. Let's go. Let's play. Uh, commencing bombardment. Let's go. I'm gonna call in my BCs here. I don't even know if I want to get Yamato here, because Yamato seems like such a big meme. It causes the BC to just sit around and do nothing, as it channels Yamato, and then it dies. Um, because it's been sitting around doing nothing. Like, it tr it'll try to Yamato something that's like a useless target, I think. Although I think he has Yamato available. Yeah, he has Yamato available on his guys. Uh, why not, dude? Let's go for it. Okay, my BC and model his BC, even though they not only does 300 though, so, um, there we go. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna get some BCs here. My BC has so much range, let's see, it's got 8 range. 
That's pretty good. And it'll, be, it'll actually be able to survive most of Artanis' units here um, quite nicely. So, you know what, Enemy Rainer? Thanks for the great idea. Thank you for the great idea. Although I think it's bad against Tempest. That's the only thing. But the BC is like really just here to tank, really. Not really here to do anything else. Just the, it's just the, it's like a 500, it's like a 700 uh, HP boost to my Hyperion. It's like I want to increase the HP of my Hyperion. Okay, I'm gonna buy some BCs. Okay, this guy just supply dropped aggressively here. Um, I can tell because you can see it right there. Wow, we got a game here. Um, I don't want a supply drop right now, or else I'm just not. I'm just gonna miss the wave timing here. Um, let's see it. Uh, Hyperion is still alive. That is bad news for them. Their Hyperion is dead. Uh, my Hyperion is probably just gonna bounce back. There we go. Bounce back right there. I should probably get some more medics, honestly. Get another medic over here. Uh, double Hyperion there for half a second. Uh, we are gonna get onto the base, and once we do, that is gonna be bad news. Oh man, Bo Black Hole coming in here. I'm just going to AoE down everything he's got in the air here. Oh my god, that is over. Orzun here saving the black hole for the clutch. And I have so many tanks on the ground, Vikings in the air. Just everything. It's over. There we go. And that's how it's done. Holy. What a comeback. What a comeback. And that black hole push was definitely very strong. Oh my god, this guy killed so many things. There's a lot of particulate units here. Uh, but Warzone took so much damage. Holy! 316k? How is that even possible? Is it because of the Stalkers? I think it's because of the Stalkers here. Um, and let's see, I killed 1.4k. Let's have a look at here. Nor Valley killed 172. Okay, Swan here seems to just have been killing everything here. 18k resources here. Uh, 18k resources there. Uh, we have like a 300 resource difference by the end of it, actually. Army spending, I spent... 13k. This guy spent 13.7k. Uh, okay, I spent 200 more on upgrades, I guess. Uh, I don't know what those could have been. I guess when the armor upgrades? Weapon upgrades? I don't even know. Uh, we didn't really own mid for that long either. Alright, anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed these two amazing games, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later.